I'm running a campaign putting people first. Jake Corman says there's growing momentum for a Republican to beat Democrat Josh Shapiro in November. I know the issues. I know that I have a record of accomplishments of, of taking on uh, big issues like public pension reform, like suing the NCAA when they came after Penn State. Corman recently proposed cutting the state gas tax to give drivers relief at the pump. Democrats question if his plan to offset lost revenue with federal COVID relief dollars is legal. I dare Joe Biden to tell us that this isn't legal right now when families are hurting because of his poor public policies. Corman says he wants to tighten up state election law, especially as it pertains to voter ID. He also wants to get rid of ballot drop boxes. Get rid of the, the no excuse mail-in ballots. Uh, go back to a system that, again, has everyone has the opportunity to vote, uh, which is extremely important. Uh, and then at the other end of that, make sure everyone believes in the security and, and the integrity of the system. Corman also wants to remove regulatory and infrastructure roadblocks for the energy industry. Building the infrastructure so that we're not only uh, exporting natural gas, which could be helpful uh, in some of these issues around the world that we're facing today, uh, but converting natural gas uh, into jobs. On abortion, Corman says he's firmly pro-life. I believe that uh, life begins at, at conception. Uh, but I also believe in, you know, in, in exceptions for, for people who are, are raped or incest uh, or life of mother. Corman says he's still opposed to marijuana legalization, but will consider the merits of a legalization bill should it reach his desk. Tom Lehman, WGAL News 8.